Today I was thanked with a massive box of Yu-Gi-Oh! Blister Packs. Time to open it. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video, it's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone. This is actually the perfect timing for this video because I just got this box in the mail. This is a thank you box from someone that I can sign their collection for and I sold all their stuff, so you know, I helped them make some money from their collection and they sent me 50, I believe, I think this is right, Dawn of Majesty blister packs. But before we hop into it, we do have a giveaway. Shout out to Sassiato because he's giving away six Battles of the Legend Crystal Revenge booster boxes, six different winners. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you're thankful for in the comments for Thanksgiving, and make sure to follow Sassiato on Instagram. So go check him out. I'll have his link down below. And let's get into this awesome Thanksgiving video. All right, our note here says, Dear Ruxin, I wanted to send you this in appreciation for selling my collection. I was so impressed with how you were able to sell such a large collection while you were managing so many other things. Thank you so much, Doug. P.S. The Hidden Arsenal Box for the giveaway. There's also another giveaway. He sent us a Hidden Arsenal Box to be given away as well. So there's seven giveaways in this video. So let's get all these out from Doug and let's open these things up. All right, so we do have this Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. He said to be given away. And then we have a ton of Dawn of Majesty Blister Packs, which if, I don't know if you guys remember this. We opened 12 to 13 case. I think it was 133 boxes. So what is that? Just into the 12th case. 133, 134 boxes to get the Starlight Stardust. This is redemption time. For Thanksgiving, for this video, we are redeeming ourselves. We are pulling the Starlight Stardust in this. That would be insane. So let's go ahead and hop into it. We have a lot of packs to open. I'm pretty excited for this. Let me know in the comments if you think we can do it. And don't forget to let me know what you're thankful for on Thanksgiving. All right, let's do this, guys. In this set, so Aluber, obviously, reprinted into the ground, unfortunately. So it, it's not what it once was. It used to be crazy expensive. I don't know the pack trick. I think it's four, but we're just going to go. Uh, it's not what it once was, but it's still a nice secret rare pull that... Speaking of secret rares, Synchro Overtake right off the bat. Not too bad. We are still looking for some awesome uh, Despian stuff. There's some really cool stuff in here. We really are looking for that Starlight Stardust, so that's what we want. We want to pull a Stardust Dragon Starlight Rare, which would be unbelievable if it happens. One, two, three, four. I believe we can do it. Retain the Heavenly Generator. We got Ale Van. We got the Fly Sting. Magic Key Duo. Chronomaly. I'd take any Starlight, to be honest. I would not be mad. Dimmer Synthesis. We have Slower Swallow and the branded opening. Remember this? This is the card that I searched in my bulk for like six hours and I found $2,000 worth of branded openings because they were, what, 30 bucks at one point? $30, I found like 70 of them or something like that. It was absolutely insane. Uh, was really glad I held onto my bulk back then, but now I sell it to Sassiato. So if that happens again, you're welcome, Sassiato. Make sure you guys go check him out because he is giving away those six booster boxes. So uh, you just have to enter the giveaway down below. Let's go, branded bond, absorption, Trithalon, Supper Spot, Arrow Picks 3, Despian Tragedy, Magic Unlocking, YouTuber Skill Bomber. Okay, not bad, not bad. So far, we've got a secret and a branded opening. Not too bad. Branded opening, uh, probably still a couple bucks. I don't know exactly, but it has had a reprint, so it might not even be a couple bucks anymore, but it was $30 at one point. Also, the deck's not really being used as much. We've got a 1900 four star. Back in my day, you know, I was a young lad, I'd have been playing this card a lot. Yeah, 1900 on both stats. That's pretty good. Absorption, we've got the different dimension. Will's Dragon, plus a zoo. Despian Tragedy. Oh, and a Dramaturge of Despia. If this hadn't been reprinted, this used to be like a $5 to $10 card at some points. Very strong when Despian was like really good. All right, according to the price guide, branded opening still a $2.50 card. That's actually not bad. I mean, that's very solid. The original print only being a super rare, which is guaranteed per pack. You get a super rare every time. So it's basically like an old rare. So pretty solid value there. We're definitely not complaining about what is going on with this. You guys see this? Is that card like damaged or something? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Once again, shout out to Doug though for sending us these. He didn't have to do that. Like it was a commission thing. So it was like, it's not like I didn't benefit from it as well. So it was really cool of him to like actually send something just for the appreciation of doing it. So much appreciated, Doug. Hopefully we can pull something crazy, you know, make it a fun video. South Buster, Stardust Illumination. Why was this card sticking out like that? That was weird. Okay, uh, I don't know what was going on there. Dawn of Majesty. So here's the thing about opening like mass openings. I used to like, so now we do that pretty much every set. We open a bunch of cases of everything. And right after that, you're like, I never want to open this set again. And then like a couple months later, you're like, I could open more of that set. <laughs> and that's how it's going with this set. Like this was, I think a year and a half ago when we opened this up and it feels like an old set to me. No, it's like so nostalgic. Cause like we opened so much of it and then just didn't open anymore after that. 
So every time I open it now, it's like, ah, oh, remember the good times when I spent eight hours opening this set? And it was like, at the time, it was like miserable, but <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's so, it's like such a good memory though. It's really cool. There's a Delia. Okay, super rare. So I guess that's just how it works. That's going to be how I feel for Battles of Legend, which we still haven't pulled the Exodia left leg yet, so, or left arm, I should say. So I still have to do that. And honestly, I'm not even really that tired of opening that set, even though we opened for eight hours and 15 minutes the other day. If you guys missed that, go check it out. We had some amazing pulls, but I got to open more of that at some point. Fly Sting, Magic Duo. I just don't want to spend more money on it. <laughs> That's the problem. It's very expensive. So I'm like, ah, do I want to spend more? There's another super rare. And I, of course I do, because I got to get the left arm, but I just don't want to spend the money. So I'm, I'm, I'm struggling right now. I should have already ordered more cases. I haven't. I'm thinking maybe I just go the video route, open a few boxes, you know, here and there, like doing a search, you know, trying to pull the left arm. But the problem is it's so hard to pull, you know, to pull that specific card. It would take forever. I don't know if I should do that or not. Stardust Trail. I'm in a little bit of a cross crossroads here when it comes to the search for the left arm of the forbidden one starlight rare uh gusto very nice glyph dragon shell another super rare so so far one secret what one ultra no two ultras one secret and then one good super so pretty okay start but not too crazy I, what is happening i can't get this out of here this is definitely gonna be a longer video so hopefully you've had a good thanksgiving by the time you watch this you know maybe you are doing it later or something and you're just waiting for thanksgiving to get started so hopefully it's going well uh longer video because opening blisters takes a while <laughs> definitely takes a while despian tragedy shari we got the Dispatch Pizarazzi and the Beach Trooper Sting Lancer. Very nice, ultra rare. Very cool. We'll take it. Beach Trooper stuff added again. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content recently. We've had a wide variety of content recently. Like, I've been doing like vlogs, I've been doing openings, I've been doing magic videos, I've been doing a ban list videos like it's it's been crazy like so um, collabs like how many collabs have we had recently it's been crazy like i this is the most diverse i think the content on my channel has like ever been we've got the uh, aquamador very cool jar of generosity and dino wrestler iguandraka very cool dino wrestler no panker tops but it's in it it's in the same species or archetype whatever you want to call it species i don't think is the right word for yukio <laughs> this is going to be quite the long video at this point because i'm not going that fast i should probably not be doing the pack trick but i'm like not gonna lie, I'm a little addicted to the pack trick. I feel like I have to do it now. I just like it. I know some people don't like it. I know it's like, uh, I don't really know why actually why people don't like it, but some people don't like it. Um, but I personally, just, I don't know. I just think it's fun. I just like putting it at the back. You know, imagine there's a Starlight Stardust. We put it right to the back. We're going through it. We're like, ah, uh, another pack, another, you know, regular old foil, and then boom! Starlight Stardust, you see it and you just lose your mind. I mean, that's what happened with Simo. It was awesome. It was fun. Magic Unlocking, cool. A Cambre, Aerial Picks 3. We've got a Magic Key Andramime. Very nice. I don't know why I'm using an accent for that. I'm not even sure what accent I'm using, but I'm using some sort of accent, and it's not really making sense. Let's see what this next one will be. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? I believe that it will. I think it's going to be a Starlight in one of these. Come on. I know there, there's a theory out there. The blisters are better. And I mean, we already have like a video where we have a video coming out, I think, that is blisters versus loose packs no not blisters loose packs versus booster box and uh i'll show you guys will see what happens in that but you know how uh blisters slash loose packs is like completely random ratios you don't know what you're gonna get booster box you kind of do know what you're gonna get so the blisters the theory behind it you know when people open blisters like oh yeah i definitely got better pulse from blisters which we know is not actually true it might be better it might be worse i mean on on average i should say so there we go, super rare. So it's uh, it's always fun to open these up because of the randomness, the awesomeness. So we're gonna see if these can actually follow through and be better like people think they are, even though really on average, they're probably about the same. But the thing is the variance. And when you hit that high variance, you pull all those epic cards, pull two starlights out of 10 blisters or something crazy like that. That's the fun part. That's the cool part. Toad, two toads with one stink. Slower, slow, allo. We got the Magic Key Mafia. We are pulling a lot of Ultra Rares right now. I'd be down to pull an Alubra. I'm not going to lie. I'd be down for it. I would be very happy about pulling an Alubra. Let's see if we can do it right now. Thanksgiving Day. I've never actually done a dedicated Thanksgiving video, but when I saw that he was thanking me for something and I got this box, I was like, it's almost Thanksgiving. This is perfect. Finishing move. We got, oh, Rux and Special. Slower Swallow has been damaged, unfortunately. Pazuzu. We've got that. Looks like a Pokemon. Not going to lie. Despian Tragedy. Gunkin Su Ship Shark. And the Iris Sword. So I still have like a bunch of these from when I opened this. This card, um, 25 bucks on release, I think, ended up being like three bucks. So not a great card. People thought it might be originally, and then Sword Soul turned out to not even need that card. So not too good. Let's see. Can we pull more secrets? So far, two secrets. So I feel like we're doing pretty good in that department. Let's see if we can pull a Starlight. 
Any Starlight, I'm going to be happy. What else is even in here? I can't remember. I think Iris Sword Soul is one. There's a Ruxin Special. Flying Red Carp, a Dragon Shell, and Arriving Light is another secret. This, is, I think, is one of the worst. It's a Stardust card, which is pretty fun, I guess. All right, the other ones are Shooting Majestic Star Dragon, Protecting Spirit Low Loingeth, Anti-Human Intelligence. Man, these are terrible Starlights. Wow, three of them are under $100 out of five. And then the other one's $125, and that's the Iris Sword Soul, which is like a $3 regular card. Wow, so Stardust is really the only card left in here. Wow, that was they did not pick great Starlights for that one. It definitely should have been a Luber, 100%. Magic Key Duo, Unleashed, Maquamador. We got the Maquamador. Shari, we got the uh, Akabaro and Beach Trooper Scale Bomber. Very nice. Unfortunately, this uh, these Starlights have not aged too well. That's why we just need to pull the Stardust. Stardust is still a $500 to $600 Starlight. Right around where it was when I opened it. It's kind of hung strong, which is pretty solid. We'll take that. Let's see if we can pull it now. Diploman, we've got the Diploman, we've got the Trading, Daily Special, all right, Star Bonder, Aquamador, One Sting, Sushi Shari, Figures, Beach of Armorn, okay. All right, Dawn of Majesty. All right, let's go, let's pull something big. Let's get something epic. This, this set is kind of in the area where all the cards have been reprinted recently. So it's kind of killed the value there and it hasn't had time to age yet. So it's it's kind of in that middle ground. So in a few years, this will probably, you know, go back up for some reason. Of course, the Stardust will be will be great. But some of the other stuff like Brandon, maybe you want the original prints or stuff like that will kind of age a little better usually. But um, yeah, it's kind of in that weird spot. This is actually a good super. Life Twin Sunny Snitch, I think it's still around a dollar. So good solid card there. It's kind of in that weird middle ground, the weird spot. So we'll see how it ages after this, see if it kind of makes a little comeback or whatever. I think Stardust will always keep this being an okay set, you know, still pretty decent. At least it has some value because you could potentially pull the Stardust, even though it is one out of 10 cases. So it's very, very unlikely. Aquamador, so it's unlikely we'll pull it today, but that's what's going to make it so exciting when it happens. Majestic Mirage. I just believe that it's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. If it was ever going to happen, it'd be on Thanksgiving Day, right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's pull something. Thing. We are we have opened a lot of packs. We, I feel like we have pulled a lot of secrets though for how many packs we've opened. I feel like we've opened like 20 packs. We've got three. So that's a good start. We've got the Goki finishing move, Baby Mud Dragon, Master Diplo, man. We got a Ruxus special. The tragedy is a common in here right off the bat. I think this is the first time Despian showed up. Am I right about that? I don't know. Diagusto, but I feel like this was when they first showed up, because that's why opening is in here. Tragedy, comedy, queer test, sort of you say that name. So there's a lot, and then of course uh, a Luber. So this is like the OG set of branded stuff, so pretty cool. Uh, we've got the Kappa Papa Nika. <laughs> I don't think that's how you say that. Incur uh, finishing move. This is definitely the uh, Sioux Ship's first stuff. Eluder, and they've only got a couple of cards in here. Ooh, Sacreds. Whoa! Okay, I got a little excited. I thought this was a shift. Wait, is this supposed to be like this? I thought this... Wait, why is it... Okay, I think this might not be an error. I thought it was an error. Is it an error? Okay, this is just like the worst secret in the set. I totally thought this was like a name shift or something because like this is up. This looks weird because there's like no secret there, no secret there. I was like, whoa, this looks cool. I don't remember this card looking like this. It actually looks really dope, but it's like 50 cents. So not a great pull. Got a little excited for no reason. So let's just uh, keep going. Pretend like that didn't happen. That's still four secret errors though. But I was like, wow, a na I like a complete foil shift. This is crazy. And then, no, unfortunately not. My, my hunt for misprints has to continue. It'll have to be some other time we pull one, but still pretty cool. We got the Goose Go Vidor, Vortex, Baby Mud Dragon. We got the Rux and Special again, Stardust Trail, Aqua Medor, Jar of Generosity, One Sting Toad. We got the Slower Swallow, and Knight's End Administrator. Knight's End Administrator. That's kind of difficult to say. What will we pull now? We pulled four secrets already. We haven't pulled the Aluber yet, which is unfortunate. When it comes to secret rares, it's kind of what we want. Let's see if we can get it right here. Majestic Absorption, Trithalon, the Psycho Pompous, Zeral, Puzzuzul, Tragedy. We've got ourselves a Suship Shari, Kokoyoshi, and the Scale Bomber. All right, another super rare. No big deal. We were almost like halfway-ish or maybe a little bit past halfway because I had a couple on the top. But yeah, this is a long video for sure. Gotta believe. I like how the Stardust, I mean, I guess you can't put Stardust as the cover card because it's not a new card, but they have the shooting Stardust thing or shooting Majestic Star thing. That thing's so cheap, which is kind of weird because it seems like it's kind of a classic, like retrain kind of thing. You think it'd be a little better. Stealth Buster, Assortment, and the Aniba White Rabbit. Is that a retrain of Aniba White Rabbit? I think it is. I didn't even realize that. That's kind of weird. Okay, keep going. Another pack. One, two, three, four. Got to believe in the heart of the cards. Will it be a Starlight? We got the Shinobi Insect. Cool finishing move. We got It's always the fourth card's Rux and Special. Stealth Buster, Red Carp, Despia, Dimmer Thinthethith. We got the Stall Turn. I could not say that. That is a super rare. All right. So far, four secret rares. Seems pretty okay. It's definitely not bad. 
Definitely decent. We will take it. One, two, three, four from the back. We're going to get a Starlight, Master Diploman, Margin Trading, Daily Special. We got a Star Bonder, Stealth Buster, Assortment, Aquamador, Jar of Generosity, and the Magic Key Beast. And Sialabalas. All right, and Sialabalas. More packs to go. Doug, bless us with some epicness. And by the way, Doug was not Doug DZ. This is a different Doug. I'm just going to clarify that right now. If you made it this far into the video and you thought Doug sent me these, he did not. Doug will have to be sending me something else soon. Doug, I'm talking to you. DZ, I'm expecting... No, I'm just kidding. All right, Fly Sting. We got the uh, Kona Hanasaka you. Okay, Interluder, Slower Swallow. We've got a Different Dimension Derby and Life Tone Sunny Snitch. Very nice. We will take that. What shall we pull next? Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? Will it be amazing? I don't know. Dawn of Majesty. Can we get a Starlight? One, two, three, four. I believe that we can do it. It's going to be this last card right here. Special Ship. Trython. That wasn't a ship. Diplo Man. We've got the Unlocking. We've got the Aquamador. We've got the One Sting. Gukin Shun Ship Shari. And... Magic Key Dragon Andra Beam. Believe in the heart of the cards. Here we go. This is it. I've said here we go a couple of times, maybe a couple of times too many, but that's because I'm hyped about the Stardust Redemption. You guys have all seen the Stardust clip. Let's make Stardust clip number two right here. We got the Ender Looter. Branded opening number two. We will take that. A few packs remaining. Okay, more than a few. Probably 15 packs remaining, something like that. Still more chances to pull. Any Starlight. I mean, I would not be mad if we pulled even the Anti-Human Intelligence card, which is still like only 50 bucks for a Starlight. I would still be really happy with that. That would be amazing. We've got the Shinobi Insect. Still have not pulled an Aluber. That would be really cool. Despian Tragedy Unlocking. Dramaturge of Despia. That's number two. We're going to pull the whole Despia deck out of this, which would be... I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't be mad about that. Also, the Despian stuff also had a Structure deck. So, a lot of the stuff got reprinted in there. So, they got some stuff pretty cheap. That definitely hurts the value of some of them. Diploman. Some of them, though, were not reprinted like Branded Opening. Daily Special. Assortment. Perrin, Rux and Special again, Red Carp, Dragon Shell, Beat Trooper Formation. Snap my fingers into Beat Trooper Formation. Oh, okay. Come on, guys. Thanksgiving epicness coming up right now. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for six booster boxes. I mean, you get one per winner, but a booster box about his Legend Crystal Revenge. And don't forget about the bonus gift sent by Doug. So we have seven giveaways. I'll be announcing those soon, by the way, because I am a little behind on those. Super shoe ship Shari. I'm not too far behind, though. I've been doing okay on those, keeping up with them, shipping them out. Do need to ship the last few people that claimed them. So if you haven't been sent yet, uh, it will be soon. So I'm working on those, trying to keep keep caught up because giveaways can be they can be crazy to keep up with so we're doing what we can let's go kappa kappa napaka we got a ruxa special of three cards very beautiful despian tragedy unlocking the abercrombie figures we have the abercrombie okay no why did i say abercrombie don't know all right let's keep going i just know that this is going to be starlight stardust dragon number two because we got a nine on our first one that we pulled It'd be epic to pull another one and get a 10 at PSA because I still have the 9. I'm sitting on it. It's such an epic moment. We're 10, but I want that 10. Let's do it. Fly and Sting with a tragedy. We also never pulled the Black Rose, which would be cool. Aquamador, one Sting, Despian, Proskinian. This is actually a good card because it's a Despian card, so we'll take it. Okay, I said 15 earlier. We might still be at 15. I don't know. I'm really bad at counting when there's a few packs left, you know? I always think there's less than there actually is. There's usually more than that. Let's go. One, two. Maybe that's just like me when I'm doing those long openings, trying to like be positive that it's, you know, not that far away that we're going to finish. But then I'm usually like hours away. <laughs> Spring and Zinner Looter. Nice. Slower Swallow. The Derby. Oh, and then there's the Toad from Naruto. Very nice. That is unfortunately not a great card, but it is an ultra rare. We will take that. Now, can we pull the best secret rare in the set? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Must believe in the Starlight Rares. Let's go. All Vein, Ruxin, a special, almost, not quite. Majestic Absorption, Stealth Buster. These cards do not want to slide. Despia Theater, the branded Dimmer Synthesis, and Despian Comedy, also a good one that got a reprint, but still pretty good. Thanksgiving Break. Thanksgiving Break. I guess some of y'all on Thanksgiving Break. I don't have a Thanksgiving Break anymore, but Thanksgiving Day. Here we go. I was going to say Blessings. I guess Blessings could be a thing. Get Thanksgiving Day. Um, we need Blessings to pull the Starlight Stardust. We got a Ruxin special on the fourth card, as we've done every single time we've opened this. Perrin. Stealth Buster, Monster Assortment, and Trickstar Festival. Trickstars, have uh, anybody playing those anymore? Not that I know of, but I could be wrong because, you know, I'm a metagame guy, but, you know, maybe in the future we'll figure it out. One, two, three, four. Starlight Stardust. We got the Margin Trading, Beast of the Forest, Dreadnought, Rux, and Special on the fourth card. Who would have guessed? Glyph, Figures from Abercrombie. We got the Synthesis, Slower Swallow, and the Trindangle, Jehilaveth. All right, now we're getting close to 10 packs. I mean, we've opened probably 15 packs since I said there was 15 left, and there's still 10 left. 
So I definitely was not right when it came to guessing that, but that's okay because we have Stardust Trail. We have Rux and Special. We have total Rux and Special. They're going everywhere. These cards are sticky, man. They won't they won't slide, man. Gusto, Chronomaly. There's another ultra rare. We have not pulled a secret in a while. So we might be on pace to just pull the regular amount of secrets from booster boxes, which would be very sad. I mean, it would not be very sad, but it would be a little sad. I'll say that. Come on. I'll, I'll be okay with four secrets if we get a Starlight. You know what I'm saying? Margin Trading, Stealth Buster, Monster Assortment. We've got Glacier Rock Door, Jar of Generosity, and... Alumer, the Jester of Despia. Secret Rare. It's about a $10 card. Now, this used to be $150, 170 and then it got absolutely hammered with reprints. It has an Ultimate Rare now. It has an Ultra Rare now. I think it had another one. It was like a, another Secret Rare or something. I don't remember, but I just know it had two or three reprints since then. Definitely hurt the value, but the original Secret Rare. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's very, very cool. So we, can, we can't complain. We got five secret rares. We got the best secret rare in the set. That's pretty solid. Pretty good for Thanksgiving. I am thankful for that once again. And also, speaking of, you guys will say what you're thankful for. I guess it's my turn. If you made it this far in the video, you get to hear that I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for you guys watching the videos, enjoying the videos, uh, you know, sending me messages on Instagram, Twitter, uh, tweeting at me, being in the Discord if you're a member or whatever. Just thank you guys for always being on the streams, like live streams on YouTube, Twitch, and all that stuff. It's been really awesome and a blessing this year to actually get to do this for a, over, a little bit over a year now, uh, full time, which has been really, really cool. And I've really enjoyed it. If we pull the Stardust while I'm doing this, that'd be pretty funny. And it's been really awesome, so I'm super thankful for it. So I figure since it is thanksgiving we should say what we're thankful for you know and just let everybody know you know i'm thankful for this and i hope that it you know continues to be this way you know the way that it's going so hope you guys are also uh you know having some stuff a lot of stuff to be thankful for if you're if you don't of course then i'm hoping that things get better for you so let's see if we can find that epic stardust make it an amazing pull here okay not that one so now i think we have five packs left that i just counted we definitely have five packs left so i'm not going to be off on that one five packs remaining in the thanksgiving opening thanks again to doug i'm thankful for these packs uh let's see if we can get something big man in the last five packs we've already gotten in a luber which has been pretty cool stealth buster and gizmek the hail bring a hog all right four donna majesty remaining we have opened much of this over the course of my uh you know existence on this channel right when it came out we opened a ton of this let's see if we can pull yet again the starlight stardust i have pulled every card from this set you know in the past because we pulled every card before we got the stardust so that was the last card we got the clay okay the puzzle for the trespian tragedy two ship shari and the synchro overtake that's our sixth secret which is cool also a double on that one which is a little weird six secret rares out of about 50 packs so normally if you open two booster boxes you get four so we're getting like three boxes worth so we definitely did good in terms of like secret rare ratios which is really cool we're 10 with the amazing attraction viking vortex the branded bond with the tailwind of gusto the glyph the dragon shell the Perrin, and the stall turn all right two packs to go let's see if we can pull something big out of the final two here we go dawn of majesty we can do this i think we kept this to a reasonable length it should be in the 20 something minute range which is still long but it wasn't too crazy we definitely made it a, a decent amount we're 10 heavenly general alvain Fly and Sting, we got the Magic Key Duo, Aerial Picks 3, Despian Tragedy, we've got the Magic Key Unlocking, Glacier Rock Mador, and that's a play set of those, Dramaturge play set, okay, Ultra Rare, that's not bad, and the final pack of Dawn of Majesty from Doug, here we go, we gotta believe in the heart of the cards, let's do this, two, three, four, come on, Starlight Stardust, we have Stardust Trail, 50th pack, Triman Loading, Beast King Unleashed, Majestic Absorption, Despian Tragedy, Magic Key Unlocking, Glacier Aquamador, Two Totes of Blood and we have a Tin Dangle Jaharalf. All right, so we did not get the Starlight Stardust this time, but we're used to that at this point. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for all those booster boxes. Just make sure to let me know down in the comments what you're thankful for, like the video, and be subscribed. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.